Hi and welcome to the video. In this video I'm just going to give you a brief overview of how email actually works just so you can understand it a little bit better for any troubleshooting purposes. When you set up a mailbox with Fastos we add that mailbox to our mail server. Now there are two things to consider when you're when we're talking about setting up email and one is actually receiving email and the other is sending email and we'll start by covering receiving email. When someone sends you an email, their sending server sends an email to our mail server and then our mail server delivers that mail to your mailbox. You then have options of how you actually read that email and we'll cover them off now. Now that the email has been delivered, you need to connect to the mailbox to read that email. You have two options here. You can either log in using webmail, which is when you log into your mailbox in a web browser or use a mail client, which would be something like Outlook or a mail app on your phone. If you use webmail, you connect directly to your mailbox on the server. What you see is what is stored on our server. If you connect using a mail client, your device will download your email to view locally. You would connect using POP or IMAP, and we do have a video that details the differences which I'll link in the description, but it's worth noting that when you use a mail client, what you see in your client may not be the same as what is on the mail server. For example, if you downloaded all your email via POP, you might find that you have hundreds of email on your device, but if you logged into your mailbox using webmail, there may be no mail on the server because it's all been downloaded to your device. Using a mail client also adds an extra step for things to go wrong. If you're not receiving email on your device, for example, you should log into webmail to see where the mail is actually being delivered to the mailbox on the mail server, but not being downloaded on your device. Now you know a little bit more about receiving email, let's have a look at what happens when you send an email. Sending email is generally less of an issue than receiving as far as troubleshooting goes, but it's worth noting how it works. When you send an email, you connect to our SMTP server, which then connects to your recipient's mail server and sends the mail across. Again, when you log in using webmail, you're connected directly to that server, so there's no issue with local connections. However, if you're using a mail client to manage your email box, then every time you send an email, your mail client connects to our SMTP server and then sends the email from there. So sometimes you can see issues with connections between your device and the SMTP server. But that's really it for us for the basics of email sending and receiving. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now.